like when we brought your grandmother, like 86 year old grandmother, we brought her in the, the Tesla and she was like, Whoa, Mike check, Mike check. check. Our clock is wrong down here. Oh, yeah. It We're does not. An hour off. That clock does not adjust for daylight savings time. I just time. got so, I was like, it's 6 o'clock? What? Um, you're watching Chelsea and Tony live. Today, we're going to be reviewing your candid family photos. But first, I have to tell them that this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace. Squarespace, Squarespace is the easiest way to create a beautiful website, blog, or online store for you and your ideas. Squarespace features an elegant interface, beautiful templates, incredible 24-7 support, and more. Try Squarespace at squarespace.com slash Tony. And if you want to buy it and you use the coupon code portfolio, you can get 10% off. If you want to just try it, go to squarespace.com, get the 14-day free trial, no credit card needed, none of that sneaky, tricky, into doing stuff kind of stuff. Just try it out. I think you're going to like it. We can take a look at your portfolio if you have one set up. During the live show, go to sdp.io slash link to give us your URL, and we'll stop halfway through and uh, take a look at a portfolio or two. Thank you for sure. hosting us, Squarespace. Sure. Uh, you can communicate with us in two ways during the live show. You can write a comment, or you can use hashtag TC Live on Twitter or Instagram. I'll introduce our producers. First, we have Siobhan out in Philly. She's working right now to screen all your comments. So if you write in the chat room, we're not going to read it, but she will. And she can pass your questions on to us. Please write interesting stuff. We'll pause and talk to you for a little bit. Probably, but I'm not going to promise that. And then in the studio here, we have Justin. Justin, what did you uh, make for yourself tonight to drink? Sambuca. Sambuca. I'm not a Sambuca fan. I'm one of those like, like licorice is like cilantro, I think. Either you like it or you don't. I don't, I don't yeah, like no one licorice likes it. Better. Just Italians, pretty much. Really? What do you have? Uh, just my head. old dogfish head. Yeah. This is good because I, I get thirsty because I talk a lot. So I need to have something to drink a lot of, which means I wouldn't want to be drinking liquor. Um, okay. So I wish you'd told me that advice like 200 shows ago. Because <laughs> things have gone so real much. bad for me a couple of times. I'm drinking tequila because I don't have Tony's good judgment. <laughs> no, this is mostly Should be a fun show. This is mostly seltzer water, which is hydrating, but also tequila. Because <laughs> I had a rough week. And lime chunks. Yeah, it's been quite a week. <laughs> Send your pictures in at stp.io slash submit and use the password Joshua to log in. Why is it that? You are not old enough to remember probably, but uh, the movie War Games. Justin knew right away when I said War Games. Okay. I remember the movie. I wasn't sure about the Joshua reference. No, I didn't remember the password. I had to look it up. I knew there was a password. I wanted to use it. Because people have been trying to guess our password. So, <laughs> it's... It's Joshua. Have you seen War Games? No. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> Why are you doing that? Why are you okay. doing this to me? Siobhan has a blank look on her face, too. So, I'm just <laughs> going to assume. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, we don't know what the theme is next week. We just, like... We're going to leave it to you so you can throw some ideas out there for Siobhan. And I'm going to ask yes. Siobhan for some questions in probably a few minutes. And then if I like your ideas, we'll do that. Do you want to do chit chat or do you want to get into the product news and stuff? Let's do the news then chit chat. Okay. First, I want to say we have, there's a deal I've never seen before for getting Photoshop and Lightroom on Amazon. If you go to the link here, sdp.io slash LRPS, they have, you can buy a prepaid card to get you a one-year subscription for $89. Usually it's 10 bucks a month in the U.S., so that saves you 30 bucks over the course of the year. That's, that's a good deal. That's a steal. You get a card? Yeah, it's like, a, I think they just give you a code. A code? But it's a, it's a better deal than I've, I've ever seen before, so check it out. You know what would go really good with that? Our Lightroom and Photoshop books. Right. You could also get those on Amazon. Plug, 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 plug. What else? <laughs> um, let me see. Let's come back to that. Oh, uh, I got the iPhone 7 Plus. Okay. I've been an Android user for the longest time. And you I finally switched over. I just got it today. And I know I'm not like the first guy to get it. No, you're not. But I, I have it. And the reason I switched <laughs> is two reasons. That awesome like double lens thing. Mm -hmm. I know there are Android phones that have 
two lenses, but this one has a 50 millimeter equivalent lens. And I, that's what I always want on my camera phone is a little more extension, a little telephoto. Yeah. And no Android phone has a good answer for going a little bit telephoto. Um, it's also got like 4k video and your old phone was also like trying to hold a fish. It was just always slipping out of your hand. Those edge, the Samsung edge phones are terrible. Just, I hate the design of them. I love the way they look, but to hold it was terrible. Um, also I tried out Justin's iPhone when flying one of the, uh, the DJI drones and the DJI app works so much better on the iPhone than it really? does on Android. On Android, it's all laggy and buffery and it's really just hard to fly because of that. But it's so silky smooth on the iPhone. Wow. So I'm this going back to iPhone is after like five years. brought to you by years. Apple. <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking of that, uh, we have a little promo to play for the new. I think uh, we're the first to get this. Apple drone. Yeah. yeah. Justin, if you have that video. Hey, I'm Chelsea. And today I'm going to show you the new Apple drone. So much suspense. My head is dope. <laughs> I have all the dad jokes. Ah, settle down, you're gonna get that thing caught up in it. <laughs> you can just see the live view count just dropping drastically. <laughs> You're still going with this <laughs> Apple drone joke? <laughs> I mean, I just, I don't know why I just hit a dog with a bike. That's good. You know, people might think that my editing skills aren't up to par anymore now that we have Justin and Siobhan doing our editing, but I still got it. I put that together and... Uh, uh, we're laughing because that like was about five minutes. the worst, longest joke, and that makes me laugh. Um, what else do we have? Uh, the DJI Mavic Pro. We just got this in today. And w w what are your first thoughts of it, Chels? I love it. It's super tiny. It folds up to go in this, this little case. Look, it's smaller than my noggin. And it's easy to fly. It has, um, it has this detection system so that you can't, it can't fly into things. I almost flew it into a tree and it stopped. It was like, whoa, hold up, girl. Um, Smaller than Tony's head. But it's also strong enough to carry an apple, which I know a lot of you were concerned about. Uh, it's got a good camera stabilizer on it. It's easy to fly. Yeah, we've been traveling a lot with the Phantom 4, which is a great drone. It's just, it's huge. This is so much easier to bring yeah. on a vacation or something. Yeah, when we were in California, we were hiking out like long distances with that stupid drone in tow. Um. I don't know if the Phantoms do this as well. Maybe we just need to update the app or whatever, but it was also telling me whether or not I was in a fly zone. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's part of the app. That's really cool. It, it really is a good feature because nobody cares about FAA stuff anymore <laughs> or ever. Uh, so check it out at stp.io slash Mavic. We've only had a, testing it for a day, but so far it's been doing great. We had fun. I did some leaf blowing with it. Yeah, it's <laughs> the way to clean up your fall leaves. Super affordable. Um, <laughs> the GoPro Karma was uh, supposed to be the compact drone that everybody wanted. Um, and then uh, DJI, man, I can't believe it. A week after the Karma was announced, DJI announced that drone, which is like a quarter the size. Maybe it's a third the size. Um, and wow. GoPro just had to recall every single Karma that they've sold, like 2,400 Karmas, because they just fall, fall out, out of, of the, the sky. sky. And I d don't switch to this, Justin. Oh, yeah. right, right. Um, but let me see. I can't really skip forward. Anyway, they, they fall out of the sky because it loses power, and that can be like a serious thing. I mean, not besides wrecking your drone, it could really hurt, it could somebody. hurt somebody. It could somebody. damage some property. And um, DJI stock or GoPro stock has just kind of plummeted since they've announced this recall because they don't have a replacement. It's not like you send your, Go your Karma in to get fixed. And there it goes. Um, you just return it to wherever you bought it and you don't get a replacement because they don't have a fix and they don't have replacement units. And I don't know why this guy's just standing there. <laughs> Is he holding an egg? Oh, a baseball. Yeah, they're on a baseball. That makes field. more sense. <laughs> really like that guy. Uh, 
So I think GoPro is just screwed because this was kind of the thing that might save GoPro, the company. Mm, if I go back so to sad. this pre previous slide, um, this line at the top here is their stock for just the last five days. So you can see it's gone from close to, you know, 15 and change to just really close to 10. So we've seen, you know, a 25% drop in the last five days. Okay. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to get Karmas out before the holiday season. Certainly won't be able to get them in stores. Well, which they also means... had manufacturing problems within the company too, right? Yeah. They put all of their manufacturing efforts into this drone, and now they don't have enough of their other products to sell. Right. So uh, what are they going to do without 2016 Christmas money, which was like the only thing that might have kept them afloat? Plus all the reviews for this thing said it was bad. Just oh, it was it was like 2014 drone technology, so it was already a couple of years behind. I just think that's funny that two years is a lot now for technology. I know we We're make like, it sound like it's so old. summer technology. <laughs> anyway, so this I I think this could be uh, it for GoPro. Um, Nikon announced the D5600, which is just their like second level DSLR. Um, they added SnapBridge which transfers pictures to your phone automatically. We like that. Somewhat. I don't like it. You like it. Yeah, it's not. It's better than the Wi-Fi app in any other camera. Yeah. It definitely needs some work, though. Um, they also added, they improved the touchscreen a little bit. So both things that I think smartphone users would appreciate. But otherwise, it's still kind of the same old form factor, the same old everything. And it's, it's a weird thing. They announced it, but they didn't give us pricing. And they didn't, they aren't releasing it in the U.S., as near as I can tell, which oh. is... Not in the U.S.? Like, this is a pretty big market. Nah, we're nothing now. Yeah, it's it's weird that they would just be like, the Americans don't get this. Um, and on perhaps related news, Nikon is reducing their headcount by a thousand. So it's not quite the same as, like, layoffs, because they'll probably do it through just attrition, like, wait for people to retire and stuff. Dang, Tony, why is all your news so sad? Oh, because the industry is sad. <laughs> it started pretty low with the fake Apple drone, <laughs> and then, and then it just got lower. <laughs> uh, so we wish everybody at Nikon luck. They, if the market shrinks, the company has to shrink. It's not like bad news. They just have to grow when the market grows and shrink when the market shrinks. And it's the natural cycle. It doesn't mean Nikon's dying. It's just it's proper business, and their stock has kind of gone up a little bit since they announced the headcount reduction. Because Wall Street likes to see that you're responding to changing influences. Um, let's import some pictures, and then we can come back to chit chat. Wow, Tony! You got some tech news, some business analysis, some wacky practical jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what don't we have? I'm always. I wanted to fly the drone into our neighbor, but Tony said that was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this chill baby like that? I don't know. That's cute. Uh. Black and white, right? You gotta maybe raise the red some. Maybe not enough contrast to go black and white. Yeah. Like the light is very flat. What happened? I lost it. Oh, that's okay. Wow, please don't do that. Yeah, I hate that. I'm sorry I did that to your picture. Oh, I like the serious boy. I think this would work well in black and white. This is serious boy. He looks like he's being serious, but what did Lightroom do to us? But he's holding on to some sort of firecracker. I don't know what he's planning. That's just boy stuff. <laughs> I like that little bit of story. I wish we could have seen a little bit of his eye. It just happened that the frame of his glasses block blocked his eye. Um, I think that's a, a really nice shot of him. We miss focus on the eye a little bit. And it's a little bit back focused. Yeah. Just use a single autofocus point and maybe grab a couple of shots. But I, I think it, like the bouquet and everything is gorgeous. Oh. oh, that's really cute. What a nice story with the family in the background just playing. Tony. Big wave. It was crashing. I wonder if that went a pick. I think it captured the I moment like really that. nicely. Um, I wish there were a little more space below her foot, but you could actually do that in Photoshop. Really easily. Should we take one second? No. No? <laughs> okay. You're doing it anyway. Um, well, I was going to stop, but then I'd already right-clicked. And what are you going to do then? Just not. Okay. Go. You okay, Justin? Sorry, that's a uh, accident there. Okay. This is really cute. Yeah, I'm gonna brighten it up. Some people are a little intimidated by blowing out the the background like that, but I was exposed for the face, and I really like the face to 
be fairly bright in the picture. It's a matter of taste, but this kind of o overexposed background is also some a style. Yeah, that's really cute. That works really well for lifestyle stuff. Look at uh, these two. <laughs> now, now, now Photoshop decides to <laughs> pop up. Uh, I would raise the exposure here too, right? Yeah. Um, what are they like shooting through grass? We have like this. I think that's um kind of like a man, like a handmade vignette type of thing. Oh, you think so? They yeah, because it's in did the corner. Post maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Um, it's it's nice when you get these candid photos of your family because I'll look through my pictures and I'll feel guilty because I have like three thousand pictures of birds. But not one of like Uncle Tony or something. And I was like, oh, what does that say about me? This seems wrong. Uncle Tony's a different person. Just yeah. No, it's that not like me what too. you call me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Um, I really like this doing? picture. It feels I like the guy ruining it. <laughs> th there's something about the composition of this picture that I just find fascinating. Like, this sort of triangle here and this guy in the background and, and this guy who's just like digging in. You know what She's I got, think? Oh no, she doesn't have two eyes. This photo perfectly displays a phenomenon I like, which is when people get food and they're standing around, everyone just kind of zones out to eat it. Like this guy, like they're not really, like he's contemplating something and nah, just pay attention, you'll see. Yeah, I'm giving them a pick. There's just something I really like about it. Okay, this open, I'm just going to do this quickly. Image, canvas size, let's anchor it at the top, and let's just make the height like 14 inches or something. So we'll just extend the canvas down. Uh, let's just select this, oh, a little bit less. And then edit, fill. Oh, God bless you. you think <laughs> what, this... Just for my optimism? Oh, I'm amazed that that happened within the century. All right. Right. And now maybe I added too much, but you can always crop it down. That's how easy it is to expand a clean surface like that. You can learn more tips and tricks like that from our Photoshop book. Look at these two. Um, that's a gorgeous picture. I don't know if it's candid. Maybe it, it must be. It's super. It's pick, pick, pick. Fantastic. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, that's nice, too. <laughs> that is the coolest hat. I like the vignetting here. You get to see a little bit of what's going on with that, and you're, he's not dead square in the middle. And uh, I'm not really sure what he's doing over there, but yeah, I'm giving another pick too. Kids are best candid, I think. They always have a hard time with their like forced smiles. I oh, mean, everybody does. People have the worst fake smiles. This is nice. Yeah, beautiful light on this. I just feel like her name is Auntie Kathy. <laughs> Let's raise it. Yeah, I was thinking about the exposure too. I think it totally depends on how it's being displayed. You would definitely have to brighten it if you made a print out of it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was just questioning whether, I think it's a great picture. I was questioning whether it was candid or a posed picture. Either way, I think it it works really nice. Oh, it's color. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, well, that that's just a great moment. And I love the nice, <laughs> clean background. Um, I think I'd probably clone out this ball right here. It's a minor distraction, but uh, otherwise I think it's just great. And the background is one of those things that you have control over even when it's candid. Because yeah, you just have to move. Yeah, move yourself, um, open up that aperture, use a low f-stop number, and find a spot and then just wait for the candid right candid I'm going to do out. this topic again in like three or four weeks because I want people to go out and try again. Yeah, you're right. We should cycle through because I always want these. This is a good way to communicate tips to people because yeah. as we look at people's pictures, we have suggestions or they just do something right. And other people can learn from it. I, I like this picture a lot. This looks like a book cover about a, an adventure that these two went on. Yeah, and they found a dead body near the train tracks. Yeah, this really, it looks, this is a, a great picture. It looks, doesn't look like it, uh, like a lifestyle stock photo. Mm hmm. It could be in That's what I was saying. Uh, a clothing store. This is a really cool picture. Yeah, I, I like it too. Uh, I don't see much of his face going on here, but overall I like the photo. Like he's known for his tappy fingers. 
Uh, this is really cute. I think for me, it's almost, it almost looks like a pose, pose portrait, but her eyes are looking the wrong direction. Yeah. Um, but and she has a little leaf. Yeah. The, the light is really nice. Oh my gosh. There's some negotiating going on here. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. I love the eye contact. I that one effect too. I like pictures of kids. Oh. The son's evil, but crying. And you know that they just do that. And the parents, instead of getting stressed out, just document it. I mm -hmm. just think that's kind of cool. This is nice. Um, I really want more attention to be focused on kind of their eyes. And I'm reluctant to crop out her hair, which is cool. I think a better approach might have been to um, frame it a little bit wider. Yeah. So you could see a little bit more down there. Uh, what do, do that. You think? I, what's that? Just do what you're going to do, because I want to do something, too. Oh, okay. Go for it. I'm just going to make it more magenta with the colors, because they have a little green cast to their skin tone. See? Oh, yeah, you're right. Good eye on the color balance. Yeah, that can be just be caused by artificial light. They have green walls, so it may have bounced off. Yeah, I was going to say, green walls mean your whole room is filled with green light. The Candid J Fam. Candid Fam. Yeah. Yeah. You did this. Yeah, I feel like that tells us something about him. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's really cute. Mm, you can see really mom cute. in the background there. I'm going to give that a nice pick. I like colors. that a lot. Look at this adorable. Oh, baby. Yeah, I think you nailed the settings there. It's kind of like the Tesseract in Interstellar, isn't it? <gasps> oh, yeah. Good reference, Justin. I like this one. This feels like a family moment. <clears throat> yeah, I like that one a lot. I like the kind of mixed eye contact mm -hmm. like that. His eyes on the left bring you back over to the right. Nicely done. Great shot. Oh, okay. It took me a second to process that. I like the, the lines here. I, I I don't know why her back was so prominent and I didn't immediately figure out that it was a person's back. Cool. Cool. Aww. Oh, You'll that's cherish really this picture for a long time. I yeah. See I see you're at... I, I It would have been nice to zoom in a little tighter, I think. I see you're at the long end of your zoom and I think one of the best upgrades you can make from... An 18 to 5 kit lens is to get the 18 to 140 or 18 to 105. Different manufacturers have a different, but just to upgrade to that longer zoom lens can make such a big difference. Mm, I love baby bomb when they always curl up like that in a little onesie. Yeah. It's so cute. This is sweet. No, oh, yeah, that's a really cute moment. And good job just having the camera ready and I love the not background. disturbing them. Yeah, the background's gorgeous. Really nice colors. This one, I think I might actually make a little less magenta. Yeah, oh, that's a magenta tonight. Well, because she was looking a bit pink. Yeah. This has really interesting lighting. What did you do here? Yeah, I was interested in that too. It almost looks like a flash fired, but uh, I'll assume it's just direct light coming in through a window. But nonetheless, that rim lighting. I don't think so creates a, a really interesting effect and you know you don't think it's natural light no it looks really unnatural to me the way it's bouncing off the back of his lens like that his uh glasses it's so hard yeah it, it definitely feels like a flash to me but I, I don't know this doesn't seem candid but i think it'll be appreciated yeah i think it's a good shot this oh, is cool that is super cool that a pick. yeah i love shooting into the sun like that and when you put it just partially being blocked by a subject it's not overpowering but it makes a nice focal point with cool lines rating can we take a moment to talk to my friend siobhan yeah let's talk to siobhan siobhan you might have suggestions on next week's topic or you might have questions or comments yeah sure both yeah um i would love a show on wedding photography since i photographed one a couple months ago and i haven't posted about it yet yeah that's yeah, a good we idea haven't done, we haven't done a wedding show in a long time that's a good idea we have other suggestions too but you know i'll give you mine first okay. i saw what you did there <laughs> um yeah some people just asked for like stylistic portraits 
Um, Nihilistic? <laughs> no, stylistic. Stylistic. Oh, stylistic. <laughs> um, Kyle Wolf suggested environmental value as a topic. That was one of the categories for the landscape competition. Oh, that's um, a really interesting one. It would nice. be photographs that illuminate environmental issues facing the U.S. today, although obviously not just the United States because we have viewers from all over. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody commented that sweater hashtag Mr. Northrop's neighborhood. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in it. Uh huh. I, I am not unsure. I'm not sure about the sweater. It's one of those clothing subscriptions. What's it called? Like Bombfell, I think. Don't, shh, don't plug them. It's not a plug. Tony, I. Someone said I had Bill Cosby sweaters. At least Mr. Rogers has proven to be a nice person. Uh, he just died before we found anything on him. We Fine. Don't know. Acceptable. <laughs> yeah. What else, Siobhan? It's really all you can <laughs> hope in life. No, he was wonderful. As far um, as we know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Um, how do you guys feel about the Sun Times firing their photographers and giving iPhone 7s's to their journalists during the World Series? Ha! Have fun with that, losers. <laughs> I I don't actually know that I knew about that. I don't know that about that. Oh, there was a really great story with their cover after the World Series, and I don't remember what the other newspaper was who uses real photographers with real cameras and. It was such a stark difference. Oh, of course. How would you oh. ever get like, sports photography with a phone? Well, yeah, a completely a iconic fine, photo. Please. Tony you can't zoom in. Bad. Um, doo -doo -doo. What else? Chelsea, are you seriously just drinking pure tequila on the rocks the whole show? <laughs> no, I told you. It's mostly seltzer water, a squeeze of lime, and a, a little dash of tequila. Okay. I couldn't do that. I would be passed out. Yeah, I didn't think so. That was not my question. <laughs> um, where are you guys going to travel next? Thailand and holy moly, Tony, uh, like a two, couple two weeks. weeks. Yeah. And and actually we're doing our first and me, I think probably only photography workshop. We talked about it. <laughs> first and last. I don't imagine I'll want to do it again, but I thought this was a good cause because I really like Thailand and uh, this travel club, it's called One Love. We're going to go and we're going to volunteer at a school for one day. Um, we'll be taking like cooking classes with the people and we're going to be doing some photography workshops as well. Oh, Street I photography. Guess it's sold out. Yeah, we sold out. Oh, good. I didn't Street know photography. We're going to have a model and do portraits. We're going to take people and do like a photo review. Um, I discovered I get really freaked out when I meet people. <laughs> but I discovered it after <laughs> I agreed to this trip. <laughs> okay. If you already signed up, try not to freak Chelsea out. <laughs> I'm just I'm just shy. I forget there are real people watching. Uh, let's take a look at a portfolio. I'm going to give you five choices here, Charles. Tell me which one of these really strikes you which one catches your fancy is that a thing <laughs> I don't know. anything i like them you like you like them okay <laughs> uh i i liked mercurist i don't know i just like this kind of full screen layout it's probably the same layout that i use from my portfolio Ooh, uh, i like that yeah i like these pictures a lot this picture is just uh, look at this leading line Look at that. Going right yeah. past here, there's the depth that he caught Look in the that clouds. Spooky house. Perfect for last week. Oh, I think I jumped to one of the projects. Okay. It's the abandoned projects. Wow. These are. I love that fade to black. That is good lighting. Yeah, these are great shots. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that picture. Ooh. I want to sit in that chair. Yeah, you like have a Photoshop. great eye. Yeah, genuinely. Like, I just love that when someone can find a scene that someone might just walk right by, like that railing in the door or uh, that spoke. I don't even know what that was. You have a really good eye. <laughs> Rolling really gone. Oh, oh, she's laying down. I just. Who is this person? Okay, you want to check out the about page? Yeah. 
David Veldman. Cool. Um, yeah, so far, everything is checking out. He has great pictures. Um, definitely not too many pictures. He, well, okay. So I clicked your hire me page and what it doesn't say is how to hire you. Yeah. Who, where do I call? Like there's no phone number or email address. There's no pricing. I also wouldn't have guessed that, uh, he was a portrait photographer because the first thing I saw was that sp uh, spooky house with the good leading lines. Mm -hmm. And I think that if you're going to focus on wedding and families and portrait photography, you're, you're going to want to put that photography aside, which is rough because I feel like those are his strongest pictures. Right. Yeah. If, if you want people to hire you, then you'll lead with that, uh, with the portrait stuff and then let people explore other photos. But it is a difficult compromise. Um, Yeah, I think those are those are our suggestions. David, thanks for sending it in. I hope that helps you. I know it it can be difficult to actually come up with prices and stuff, but that'll definitely increase the amount of people. Well, that I think it's good you. to hear that we felt some conflict looking at it. So if he wants people to hire him, he'll know that he has to go for the sellable pictures. Yeah, and your email here is good, but you know, some portion of your audience will prefer to email you, but you should also put your your phone number in there. And oh, you definitely want it. to put it on the hire me page and not require people to go to a different page. Cause some people just will not succeed at that. <clears throat> David Veldman, uh, had to say about Squarespace. I've loved it so far. It looks far more professional than my old Wix one would strongly recommend it to anybody in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David, for sending in your portfolio. If you want your own awesome Squarespace portfolio. They make your pictures look awesome with very little effort. Go to squarespace.com slash Tony. Use the coupon code portfolio after your 14 day free trial. Oh, let's go back to Siobhan so we can see her, her cat about to take a crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Frank. <laughs> you didn't ask for this. Siobhan, do you have any more questions? Wait, <laughs> you just see the tail sticking out. I guess we finished our plug. Thank you, Squarespace. This, this episode is brought to you by Frank the cat and Squarespace. <laughs> Doing his duties. Uh, Using the coupon code portfolio, get you 10% off and let them know that you heard about it from us. What were you going to say? I was going to ask Siobhan if she had any more questions or comments or anything. Okay. Um, well, Dropbox just crashed. That's not good. So I don't know what to do about that. Although you might have imported quite a few pictures so far. I'll keep trying. Um, what is the best way to get started with bird photography without spending a fortune? Um, well, what, I don't know what lenses you have already, so I can't suggest what to do with them, but teleconverters can work kind of. Yeah. Most people start with like the 75 to 300 or something in that range, like a 300 millimeter zoom. Um, but the next best thing you can do is get yourself a bird feeder because it's hard. You're going to bring out these bird feeder people. It's hard to get enough reach. So what you really need to do is to get yourself closer to the birds. Um, we do have some good information here. You if you go to northrop.photo. A good bird suit on Amazon. And become, become like the bird. I think I have a page about it. Wildlife. Ooh. We have a good video coming out this person's going to like. So they've got to stay tuned. Oh, what's this? It? No. Hmm. Okay. I could have sworn I had a you page did. about wildlife photography gear. Um, but really the thing you're going to appreciate the most is no, nothing is getting closer and closer to the animals. So get that's just going to take animals. time get to know the animals because every single animal behaves differently. So you have to change your behavior. So like Osprey, I know when they like to fish, usually in the morning, there has to be some sunlight. They don't like windy days. They fly into the wind. You learn all of these things and you know, to be in the right place for pictures um, and different birds have different personalities so like some are shy some will let you get close to them some like different foods some like different areas it's like you really have to learn about animals and you have to learn to be patient look up this video how to photograph birds with any camera using a hunting blind and bird calls and i'll tell oh, you yeah and then read the comments well look at the like ratio only 36 people were mad about the 
Some people don't think <laughs> bird kind of beaters that, are cool. That dope jacket really kind of. It's like the only time I wore that jacket. I saw it on camera, and then I was like, yeah. Oh, it looks good put in that person. In the back of my it closet. didn't look good in camera, but it does look good in person yeah, if so you want to bring it back out. The video has helpful information if you can get over my jacket. <laughs> uh, I picked that out. So it all falls on me. Yeah, all my clothing choices are Chelsea's Not fault. Not now that you, you got like that it. fancy schmancy city boy clothes service, and you just <laughs> robots put me out of business again. Chit chat. This is the part of the show where we just take your comments and <clears throat> and we say them back to you so you can see what we put up with on a daily basis. Um, Von Mandrake said, can anyone tell me what camera strap Chelsea is using? Thanks. That's an old guitar strap and I don't recommend it because it's beating up the camera. Yeah, I actually don't mind beating up cameras and I like it because it's just... It, it just looks vintage. We got about 50 people asking about the camera strap. It looks like we could probably sell. I bought it for like three bucks on eBay. We could probably sell it for like $90 because people love to spend a lot on straps. We find cool stuff though. I can make a little like boutique on our website with all of our cool photography stuff. Zach said three things. You're like the Mr. Rogers of photography videos. I love it. And I I'm can't believe another person brought up Mr. Rogers. This one's for you, Justin. Two, what microphone is that you're using in this video? The sound quality is actually really good. So gay. Three, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to answer his microphone question. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess he did give two compliments. Is it possible to photograph the moon and the stars together? Oh, that's actually a good question. I, not, I don't think so. It, uh, it would have to be like a really bright star yeah, next to yeah. the moon. I think you'd have to probably have to comp it together. Just comp it. Um, SDP.io slash G3. That's the mic I was using. There you go. The okay. Sennheiser E-Div 100. Man, oh man, I love my old Minolta lenses. That said, I hope to meet Tony and smoke a cigar with him someday. He's so laid back. I would like that too, Monkleek. Key. <laughs> He's smoking a cigar right in his picture. He's cool. Right. Uh, Giorgi says, where is Tony? Does he know all of this stuff is going on in response to my boudoir video? Check it out. It's really... Well, yeah. I'm sorry. What was Giorgi's last name? Shermaz and Nashvin. Massive Beat says, great review. I can't decide if this guy's an old guy looking younger or a younger guy looking older. Either way, it's, it's like, suspicious. It's suspicious. I don't like it, and I don't trust it. It's sneaky. You get your age stuff all together. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make all this consistent. You make, yeah. Your consistency, we're not having it anymore. Nick says, Tony dresses like a superhero that is trying to fit into society. I'm feeling you, Nick. Nicodemus says, it's because he's so chill. He's one cool guy. What would Tony's superpower be? Someone said it would be Chelsea, which I agree. Being so damn chill, another person thought. I call this my person suit. That makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Uh, we'll take a look at some more pictures. Are we even... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think we have plenty of photos. We have so many. <laughs> so many. We should probably move faster. Uh, this is a great shot, and you nailed the focus, which can be difficult on swings. Nicely done. She's got a good expression. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm that, gonna give that a pick. What a, a pick. great! I was reaching for the P myself. <laughs> that looks like a gap. The when I say the P, I mean P is the keyboard shortcut that yeah. signs a pick. Yeah, yeah. Right now, in our current political state. <laughs> what? <laughs> How did this? Oh, I guess this must be from Robert. From, Robert. Robert. This must be from Eric. Eric. Yeah. <gasps> Why didn't you guys tell me my booty was so fly? Oh. <laughs> Make people look at your butt. All right, you get a, a pick. <laughs> this dude, he's at. Uh, oh, oh my God! How am I forgetting the name of this place? Sarah, Sarah Gordo. Gordo. Sarah oh Gordo, yeah, yeah, Justin. We'll never forget. <laughs> this is our BFF Stephanie. This is an outhouse that I. Oh, I never peed in that one. I was too scared. <laughs> I did. I wrecked that outhouse. Justin, what is, remind me what Sarah Gordo is Spanish for? <laughs> Fat Sarah. Fat Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> that poor girl. So we stayed in this ghost town. We went and met 
a longtime viewer, now friend, Eric Lowenbeck and his wife, Stephanie. And they took us on this epic road trip through California. And we went to a ghost town and um, there was like this gold rush. So it was a huge active town and everyone was just killing each other. It was a lawless land. It was, it was super dangerous. It's still kind of dangerous. Tony almost died there. And I was like, don't do it, Tony. He didn't listen. He almost died. Anyway, we're going to have a whole video on it. We're editing it now. It's taking <laughs> we couldn't work on the video for months ever. and months and months. Um, they have the worst website. No, they do. They there's Squarespace. There's no info on this place. This is why we need Squarespace. Thanks to the night and Eric. I like this a lot. Like I'm gonna give this a, a pick. Lot. I'm gonna give this a pick. Oh, and I know, I know exactly where that picture was taken. Where? The Hotel Del Coronado. Oh, I have yeah. a mug from there because of you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is really oh, cute. I'm gonna give this a pick and a half I like that and a, a five. Lot. Just great, great expressions, great light. Oh, I love this because I feel like this is a family tradition, and you captured it. And I think that this is just a good picture on its own, but. Your family's going to cherish it. I'm going to give it a pick. Oh, no. Wow, this is uh, this is just so dramatic. In some cultures, when the dog is old, they take it out to see. <laughs> no, that's the dog's first swim. <laughs> it's a beautiful picture. Those clouds, it's just the way the wind is in her hair. It just feels so dramatic. That's because he's not coming back. Great shot. <laughs> oh, this is when your child shows its belly to your grandma. She's like, put it away. Baby's gone wild. <laughs> Tony, that's inappropriate. <laughs> she seems shocked by it, though. She's like, you put that belly away. <laughs> yeah, no useful feedback for that <laughs> person. Baby's first slip knot. I like this. Yeah, this seems like a be the cover on their CD, right? Oh. No, oh, that's a great shot. Yeah. I, I like pictures that just pro properly capture the moment, right? Yeah, they're laughing. Um, the only thing that bugs me is the like odd crop on our hand here. So I feel like we could just kind of bring that in a little bit. Great. Oh my gosh, this is the so sun beautiful. here is just perfect. This is really shadows beautiful. really nicely done. A treasure. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. I wish there was a little action in it. Like I feel like they're gonna run or something. Action? And Look that might have this. better caught the moment. They Look just stare at, at the ball. <laughs> this is nice. What are they? Oh, some kind of. That looks very official. Yeah, I think they're giving them a basket and reading the card to them. It's a really nice moment. Everybody's kind of gathered around. Um, I think the eye the... contact here really makes a focal point. I think the light is really nice. I'm going to uh, bump up <clears> the <throat> contrast in this. I feel like you're concentrating more on the faces now. I like that. I think I you did a good job, and then I did a good job. Oh, this is great. I'll give that a pick. Yeah, that's a really nice moment. <laughs> what? They see me rolling. They hating. <laughs> what? There's what? another... My friends. There's another cow car behind it. <laughs> I feel like that's where the I real story is. I can't read this. My brain can't. I bet that's his kids, and they're like, Dad doesn't love us ever since the phone. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, he's just But cute. I'm going to do this like this. Um, just so everybody else can imagine this, the key part of this picture was getting that um, spoon and mug in there. Otherwise, you would have no idea what's going like, on. It would just what? be a gross, gross baby. <laughs> but with that, it's a great picture that tells a really nice story. So gross, think about that when baby. you're composing even your candid shots. <laughs> you, think what the key ooh. elements of the story are and make sure you include you have them all. away with children. It's been said. <laughs> well, it was this only gross because really it had this weird stuff coming out of its mouth that wouldn't have otherwise been explained. Um, I bumped up the exposure some. It still feels like a night shot because you think... can see the lights. That's beautiful. Yeah, the the angle of the body is really oh, nice. Calvin <laughs> there, and Hobbes. We are not going to call this candid. No, there's no way. I'm going to go. But back it was to... a nice shot. It just. I mean, I like it, but I. It's not I like they no caught respect. this kid running away. <laughs> yeah, this tells a summer story. Like we're from a town where DQ opens up in the summer, and it just becomes a weekly thing, right? Yeah, I was going to say, in Texas, DQ's not, it's like it's in the winter, too, but they're in Maine. 
So it is a very seasonal thing. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Yeah, I feel like it's a casual moment. People just chilling out. A focal point, like visually to me, the focal point was mostly knees. Love those knees. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Great focus on that. I like this one too. He looks real, like a nice dude. Yeah, I kind of wish I could see what he was looking at. No, that's I'm gonna really give that a shot. Yeah. That's really nice. I, I wish I knew something more about the story here. It's nice that they're walking together, but... It seems like a family vacation to me. Yeah, I felt that way too, but I don't have any sense for where they are really, or, you know, they're not doing anything in particular. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's nice, Maya. Yeah, nicely done. This is really sweet. I, I love the eye contact here. Yeah. Um, maybe a little more of the horse, like maybe a horizontal shot would have been better. That's a horse. Nobody knows. Well. That's That's really nice. That's really... A great example. You know, I would probably crop it tighter. Um, but you don't need to. I think it's really nice. That's really nice. Yeah. I like this a lot. Oh, this is, yeah. Do you I'm think they're family? Because I feel like they're not family. But I like it a lot still. <laughs> He's got a great expression. He's <laughs> he like, looks oh, so I'm determined. Trying to take my it's mom, like huh? A cartoon character where they're about to run, like they're winding up. Um, black and white. Sure. sure, sure, sure. Siobhan, um, do you have any questions or comments or anything? Yeah, not a whole lot. Come on. People. Um, sorry. If you could only have one new realistic feature for your next phone regarding camera tech, what would it be? Um... Oh, um, for me, it would be like seamless camera to phone or camera to social media transport. Wait, was, was the question about your smartphone or a camera? A camera. Smartphone. Oh. oh, wait, was it about your camera or your smartphone? If you could have one new feature on your what? Well, I think it was smartphone. Oh, smartphone. Yeah, I was just... I was just wondering that. I, I think I might just want more and more reach on the telephoto end. Like, I love that they crammed a 50 millimeter into this iPhone 7 Plus. Um, that's a good start. I would definitely like to go longer. I mean, there are lots of things to like about a real camera, but the number one thing I miss when I'm using my smartphone for pictures is just not enough reach. It really lim limits your ability mm. to compose pictures when you're locked at like 28 millimeters all the time. I'd like to be able to control stuff like your aperture. Yeah, you can usually do that. Though most, I think most of the lenses have like a fixed aperture, right? Mm, but you yeah. can. All I ever need to do is like control the exposure compensation. But this is nice. Yeah, that's a nice shot. This is really bright. Yeah, it was actually a little bit overexposed. But yeah, it's it's a great moment. Beautiful scene. I think I would actually pull a, a T Northrop and and crop it up a little bit because I'm seeing <clears throat> yeah they're shooting with a prime lens and this is one of the I mean primes versus zooms is a debate as old as time but I'm a zooms guy because you can't always close the distance on foot and I really like to be able to control the background and the size of that in relation to the foreground which you kind of need a zoom to do quickly uh, another oh. tip, I think, for getting good candid photos is to you can plan out some aspects of it. Like you can bring your family to a location that is always nice. Like so you have a nice background like that previous picture was in this beautiful park. Yeah. And if it, you're in a great spot, you can take a picture in any direction and get a great background out of it. But if you're in a cluttered toy store or city or something, that might not be the case. You might also like make your kids wear nice clothes, like wear a plain white shirt and you know blue jeans so that they're not covered in logos and cartoon characters that kind of thing just so, keep always keep your family photogenic yeah you, you can you know get a camera and be ready to take candid pictures like some planning can still go into these candid pictures but then let them go about their business don't pose them yeah 
just make everything around them photogenic. Oh, I love this photo because I feel like that's his big brother and he's pretty thrilled that he's helping him. Yeah. That's really sweet. Yeah, that's a great shot. Love the mixed eye contact. This that's is, adorable. This baby's too cool for school. Yeah, I'm going to give that one a pick. I just think that's that like definitely that belongs on their wall. <gasps> I'm going to give this a pick. I love the expression, the background. Mm -hmm. Really cute. That's nice. Is that your family? I don't think that's your family. It, it's a cool shot. It definitely <laughs> took me a second to take in. I like that it's kind of composed around the piece of art. But uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's family. They do kind of look like they're just working. Yeah. There. Wow. Yeah, that's really cute. Again, yeah, the colors get to be really distracting. It's and kind of a part of it, though. One way to mitigate that is with the switching to black and white. But again, like the putting feet, them in outfits ahead of time helps. The feet in the foreground are freaking me out because they look really big. <clears throat> I was thinking the same with thing. I was rabbit. really, really freaked out about that. It's because it was taken with a wide angle lens, an 18 millimeter lens. This photo reminds me of Siobhan because she wants white guys to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> She's enjoying She's clapping that joke too much. Because I nailed it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say because her hair is kind of similar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really cute. They're having a, it looks like they're playing a fun game called you stop talking right now <laughs> you got the joke of the night for that one <laughs> he looks like a gentleman i like the tie i love his expression like he's like yes i do deserve my own cake really cute expression i like that a lot he's the least gross messy baby i've ever seen yeah i this the shot works I so well it is food. so sharp yeah it is really sharp Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Great photo pick. That's really nice. I, I wish I could tell better what was going on. I, She's playing an instrument, and he is too. I think they're doing some kind of... What instrument is that? It's a biggery stuff. Um, that's like a dulcimer or something. A what? Really? The, okay. I've never seen I, I don't like know. That. It's something like that. Whoa. Oh, that's nice. Erland, what up? I always see Erland on the show, but he never, like, reaches out to talk. Yeah, we, like, don't know each other. No. Siobhan, do you have any other questions or comments or what? Sure. Um, how much prep goes into one of these live sessions? Do you guys do a dry run before you go live? Oh, my gosh, a dry oh, run. <laughs> We're all laughing at this, <laughs> how much prep goes into it. We just take like the day, like a few hours in the day. Tony will put in a few hours. I'll put in a few hours. Today we did like a really cool video that Claire Lily was very well done. And um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, basically almost no prep. There are times when we show up with almost zero prep and other times when we put a couple of hours into it today. There was lots of news and stuff, and I, like, properly researched things. Yeah, it depends on the show. Yeah. And the Apple drone thing was not at all, like, really thought through. We just kind of... Obviously. You had an idea, and we went with it. And something we did. I'm always just ruining... You and Justin are always trying to get stuff done, and I'm always like, let's put fruit on stuff. Just That's ruin. important. It is important to me. This is nice. Yeah, I think that's really cute. I don't I think like... it's candid. Yeah. I'm going to call you out on that right now. This is good. Yeah, check that histogram, though. You can see, like, there's nothing over there, so we need to brighten it up. I just want some more contrast. Oh, five stars in a pick. Yeah, that's what a, a nice shot. moment. Oh, that's really good, too. Somebody else's family, but I love it. Good. I just really thought that was Amy Schumer for a minute. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet pick you've got good light yeah that's nice good framing i like that you see some family in the background but it's not distracting i don't know this isn't oh dad's birthday that'll be a fun memory yeah i think maybe if you could have leaned out and gotten a little more of it, like looking out back towards him to see a little more of his eyes that yeah. would have helped <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna give this a, I love this yeah, so much. Yeah, I just like that shot. I love when you give kids- I don't kids, even know how to explain it, but like it's a great you moment. you buy kids like some expensive toy and they play with it twice and you give them like a wooden spoon in a bowl like this and three hours later they're still doing it. Like 
my daughter and my niece last night, they had a half empty water bottle and a cup and they were throwing it the bottle into the cup from like across the room and just trying to get it every time. And they did yeah. that for like an hour. I was like, Christmas is taken care of. Stuff is he? He's um, like, what are you talking about gluten free? I already mixed it. The color's a little off, right? Oh, you're working on it. It, it feels a little too yellow to me. It, it can be tough because I see there's mixed light. There's light from the sun coming in from outside. That's giving him a, just a great the, backlight, by the way. I try to just get the skin right. So I'll just look at the skin and... Yes, family. <laughs> that's really cute. But, uh, he's clearly posing, though. He's a model. He's a professional oh, model. That's adorable. He's giving it a pick. That's just a great shot. <laughs> She's serious up there. Like, this is just transportation for her. It's like... <laughs> yeah, she is like some primitive queen, right? <laughs> I'm going to give that a pick. That's so sweet. That's cute. Goodness. Oh, that's fun. I like that one a lot. Holy Whoa. moly, this is amazing. Oh, look at the expressions. I love that. Yeah, and I really like the use of the wide angle, that kind of first person view. I can see you clearly had to like put your elbow right in mom's face to get the right angle, but you did what you had to do. Just push mom out of the way. That's amazing. I'm giving that five stars in a pick. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. mom was the photographer. Maybe she was actively working Holy a camera moly. at the time. She would get photographer of the year. <laughs> I know. Right? She's a really, I think that, that, I mean, the angle is like right from where her viewpoint is. That or that dad got his butt kicked. <laughs> maybe they just knocked her out. And I couldn't look in away there. from that. Chris Holmes, that's really cute. I like yeah, that. Yeah, cute expression. Really nice. Oh, that's sweet. That's a sweet moment. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta give it a pick because uh, uh, the dog's expression oh. is perfect too. That's He's really adorable. nice. I always imagine dogs have a doofy voice like that. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> He's great dancing. Oh, pick! That's amazing light. I love how it just blackness in the back and oh wow. I imagine they're waiting for the ice cream truck. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, oh. you're going to win everybody over when you give somebody a cool looking yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. Old film SLR. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that looks like stock. you got to give That's that so one cute. a pick. Yeah, that would legit sell like crazy on stock. That's a, a gorgeous, gorgeous picture. Yeah, really nicely done. Oh, uh, oh, we're fighting. Volume. That's really cute. Yeah, give the that hair a pick is too. These are great. You guys did a great yeah, job. Like you have some really shots. nice pictures. You have good memories. That's nice. I'm just going to see this here. There's not a lot of information there. I'm going to. Yeah. Check that histogram. Well. SDP.io slash top tip. Did your mouse die? Yeah, my mouse died. It's been rough. And don't be afraid to blow out the background. That's perfectly fine, but. It's fine. It's not cool to have a washed out picture. It's not cool. Is that? Oh, that was the last Siobhan, one. Siobhan, questions, I'll comments. I'll quickly important. Yeah. Um, okay. on, don't be frazzled. <clears throat> I am, I am frazzled. Do you have any predictions for the hopeful 6D Mark II release next year? Features, enhancement? Believe it or not, I already made predictions for the 6D Mark II, but my 5D Mark IV predictions were so far off the mark <laughs> that my 6D Mark II predictions would probably be too. Um, I have been following the rumors, and I'm excited that Canon might finally put a tilty screen in a full-frame camera. Like, finally, right? How good are tilty screens? How good are tilty screens? <laughs> um, I w they're, they're also saying that it probably won't have 4K, and I would totally believe that, even though every smartphone made for the last three years has had 4K. It seems ridiculous that they don't Thank you, make Justin. it a standard oh. feature. You're a ninja. Uh, the Canon doesn't seem to have really worked out the 4K thing yet. Holy moly, let's just go right into this. Oh my god, that little doggy. <laughs> That's me, Vida. What I do? Uh, some say love. Yeah, there's a lot of space over her head there. You're, you could have zoomed a little more. Oh, it's so cute. One tenth of a second. Um, 
It's a little slow. We get a little motion blur there. That's a good time to crank up that ISO. <laughs> Look at its feet. I know. They're not even in Adorable. shape. Oops. Oh my goodness! What hey, tragedy has we've seen this a child. skeptical baby before? Oh really? I think so. I love that baby's hair. Mm -hmm. That's a good picture. Oh, again, check that histogram. SDP.io slash top tip. Oh, that's a cool angle. Dog. Yeah, great Oops, angle. I accidentally give you two when I'm in. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, again. Really cool. Check the white point. I like faces that have character. I get so tired of seeing the same looking woman over and over again. <clears throat> like, just like perfect young person. I don't even know one from the other. To be honest, I see a picture and it just doesn't even stand out. I like when people have character. This is amazing. This is cinematic. Wow. Yeah, that looks like a, a painting or something. That's really fantastic. What did you do? How did you do? There's some kind of like noise reduction, I think, because her hair looks so feathery. The lighting is just incredible. The colors... I love this. Yeah, you're right. It's just cinematic. I can't even pinpoint exactly what it is. You need to print this. It's really good. <laughs> I imagine she was like, can I have more cake? And her mom was like, no. And she's like, I'm not getting over this anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, it's a non-conventional <laughs> composition, but I think it makes it eye-catching. I think it works because I really feel like she was just talking to these people and they said something that let her down. And I, And I'm on her side. Five stars. <gasps> wow. So cute. Yeah, I, I really feel like you just captured this perfectly. Uh, there's something about the the lighting of it that almost makes it feel like the box Magical? itself is yeah exploding with light. Five. Maybe it's just... Yeah, 25 alive. Yeah, I'm definitely going to give them that one. In his little boy pajamas, they're like matchy. They're so cute. I feel like this could use a, a square crop. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's... Stop it. Why did you do this? Because, like, can I just explain why I like all of the negative space? It makes them look really small. Oh, okay. Check it out again. Look at it. Do you see it? I like the square crop, so. I mean. It's a matter of taste. Clearly, the okay. photographer like, like the extra space up there, too. We're right. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, this is looks like it's like film or something. Oh, I, I think it definitely is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, oh that one's really nice. Yeah, I like, I like that. the arrangement. <gasps> Clear storytelling. I feel like this is like the drama dramatic aunt. She's like, no, she didn't say that. No. <laughs> Everybody's got the dramatic <laughs> aunt, right? I want to be it. We all know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, this is really nice. Just bringing up the shadows so we can see his eyes a little bit more. Pick. I like this lady a lot, so I'm going to give her pick. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Do you think there's room for me to take off and Why? this thing in here? Why? Why is this little girl eating her shoe? You want to fly the drone? I think I should do it because um, I have more experience flying this drone. <laughs> That's kind of true. You yeah. kind of do. Okay. Uh, I also have... There's not a lot of room in the studio. <laughs> this could go really wrong. This is a terrible idea. Is it? Oh my gosh, that's so aggressive. Oh my god, this shot is awesome. Little kids love chasing pigeons. <laughs> Jeez, Chels. I can feel it. Yeah. Ah! Ah! This is such a bad idea. Fly towards the main camera. It won't move. Oh. Okay. I'm 
just gonna grab it? No, no, it's happening. How are you gonna land it? I'm not. This is my life now. It won't move. Ready? That was stupid. I want to do it again. I want to crash it into Justin. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for obstacle avoidance. It doesn't work backing up, though. That's why I was a little afraid about it backing right into my face. I was going to give you a haircut. Yeah, just what I did. Okay. Um, raising the white point here. Wow. I guess we should check out. It's 8 after 7 and 8 after 6. This baby's like, just got the new iPhone. It's not an iPhone. <laughs> Let's see if there are any thumbnails. Oh my goodness, so many good pictures this week. Thanks everybody who submitted a picture. Thank you to our sponsor, Squarespace. You can go to squarespace.com slash Tony, sign up for a 14-day free trial. Then if you decide you like it, you can use the coupon code portfolio and get 10% off. Wow, their family uh, reunions are intense. <laughs> yes. Uh, Siobhan, you have any parting questions parting or comments words. for us? Um, maybe. Sean. No. Mm, okay. What about you? You must have thoughts and feelings. As a human <laughs> Not woman. that you want me to air on the live show. Siobhan, what do you think about the election? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please don't answer that. Beautiful don't picture. Do don't do that, Justin. <laughs> Okay, on that note, thanks for joining us. We'll be back Thursday next week. Oh, Siobhan, what, what do people decide our topic is for next week? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. Um, <laughs> there are some suggestions Cabbage. on Twitter. A oh, walk baby. in the park. Fireworks. Shadows. Shadow. Let's do I wedding know, photography. Man. Yes, please. Yeah, that's a good one. Next week is wedding photography. If you don't like that, blame Siobhan. <laughs> yeah. Do it for everything else. Come on. Commenters, come at me. Those commenters, they're brutal. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you, Squarespace. Bye. Bye. I love dr flying drones inside. <laughs> that is all. That was fun. <laughs>